We realized that sort of the sneaker is a way of telling the broader story because everywhere that the runner's been, everywhere that the human being who has sort of experienced this tragedy has been, the sneaker has been. The whole team, but particularly the, you know, the editorial team, really jumped in and produced something. Not only that the graphics were great, but getting the stories ver that quickly when, you know, everybody's like just trying to figure out which end is up. We heard a couple of booms. Uh, Boston Magazine is located right across the street from Symphony Hall, so it's really not very far at all from the Boston Street uh, finish line. And we immediately started getting some reports from people that we had near the finish line, uh, letting us know that there had been some kind of an explosion. I, I had no idea, so the instant I walked into the office was when I really found out that there had been a bombing. Many of the people that work on our editorial staff were native Bostonians or, or from the area and were grieving themselves and, and, and really um, suffering through the kind of enormity of this moment at the same time they were trying to do this work. To really give this thing some power, to really have it resonate with people and the city, we needed to get the actual sneakers that actual runners were, were wearing. And so on the inside of the magazine we photographed their shoes and each shoe had an accompanying story. Where do you come up with 70 plus pairs of sneakers in 72 hours uh, from a bunch of people that you don't have any way of contacting? So the entire magazine, not just the edit staff, the sales department, marketing, Rick, uh, everybody in the magazine pitched in. Brian, our design director, had come up with this idea of using this photographer out of New York named Mitchell Feinberg. So after we had our hands on all of the shoes, Brian threw them into some, some, uh, some trash bags and threw them in his car and drove down to New York. Uh, he, he drove all, all the hours, got down there, and as soon as he got there, they started laying out uh, the shoes and uh, right down to like the placement of the laces. And if you'll notice on the cover, uh, it's easy to miss, but it's beautiful when you see it. They're the sort of red at the center of it, and then it radiates out different colors. They sat there one by one by one, flipped, flipped them all over, and they took the soles. They shot it all over the course of the night, and then Brian threw the shoes back in the car and drove them up back to Boston, uh, literally on the last day. You know, we opened the door, helped him carry out the hefty bags of, of shoes in, into the um, office and put them aside because John and Brian had to like rush up, get, get the cover design. Most important to all of us is we just kept hearing from people within the city, from our readers, just how they felt that it captured uh, an element of healing. When you see the cover instantly, you, you, you got it. You got, okay, we're coming together. Um, you know, this is a, Boston's a tough city, but we're also, you know, we're in this together and we're, we're going to prevail. I feel like in many ways we, we were fortunate to be in a position to tell a story like that that we hope was helpful to the city. It remains the thing that I've done in my career that I'm certainly the proudest of, and, um, and I was just fortunate to have that opportunity.